and back home again. Lighting in this game seems a little messed up to a certain extent still. It's better than it was, but um, it's still a bit dark down here. But again, maybe I just need to put a few more torches around. Um. But hey, let's go on to the other thing. So, uh, let's see, I can't remember which chest I put them to. Um, there we go. So, th these little things you can mine in the various places. Um, you can also um, find them in chests and so on around the world. But um, this keystone oven here, if you're not getting this, so this keystone is the one that I got from the daily quest, I'm not going to do that one right now, um, but um, you can also uh, use these fragments that you mine in the world to create keystones. There's three different kinds, uh, or at least there's three different kinds that I know about, and then there's the three different colours which show the biome of it. So this green one is going to be a forest adventure, uh, the one is going to be a desert adventure, the yellow one, uh, and there's also a snowy one, which I haven't actually found any of yet, but uh, let's see, I'm actually in a snowy world at the moment, so you can get an idea of what that looks like. And these basically equate to difficulty, so uh, the light ones are fairly straightforward, um, medium is medium, obviously, and dark is um, quite hard. Uh, I can't actually make these right now because you need to have some of these dark hearts, which I haven't found any of yet. I think. Um, you get those by killing some of the harder enemies in the medium worlds. Um, but for now, let's just go with a basic, simple, uh, easy keystone just to sort of show off how things work. Um, so I can craft them, this is always pretty hard. do want to have a reasonably clear inventory when you go on adventures, so let's just put all this stuff away. Um, I've got a certain amount of organisation in my chest, but don't worry about that for now. Um, let's put that away too. Because uh, you will of course get different items on your quests, and um, you want to have as much room as you possibly can. As you can see, when you assign things to your hotbar, uh, you still have to have them in your rucksack. Um, it's also a good idea to carry around food and so forth. But here we go. So let's just put this into the uh, nice little animation. It opens up. And let's go. Some of those can get a little repetitive, but that's all good. Alright, so here we go. Um, you spawn one of these little platforms somewhere in the world. Uh, these are always randomly generated. Um, once you go into a world, uh, you are basically there for until the adventure ends or until you decide to return home. And you can never get back there again. Um, so they're, they're always generated afresh each time. Each one typically has two sort of secondary side quest missions and a uh, main area that has the exit portal. Um, this looks like a, a side quest area. You can never be completely sure, but uh, there's usually also a few one or two mining caves you go to. And of course, you can anything you feel like, so if you happen to want a lot of dirt or something, you can start strip mining with this. Oh, hello, yes. Combat in this game is not terribly hard at the moment, um, but um, I don't know, it's still the reason I'm not done. Okay, they've definitely improved the lighting since the last time I played this. It used to be that you couldn't really see anything. Uh, you can use a bit of some, uh, on the distance, but the, it's actually far 
lost it. Uh. And again, all this ob environment is entirely destructible. Um, I can go and break all these things if I want. Unfortunately, like if I break it, uh, this lamp, I won't get the lamp back. Uh, ah! Just to show you that. Sometimes you'll get a resource from doing that, sometimes you won't. Okay, I didn't do it well on that one, but never mind. Oh, here we go, here's a chest. So, oh, pickaxe, that might come in handy. Let's go to all those things. And, uh, I'm not interested in those. Oh, hello. You do have quite a nice range, uh, which is good. Um, I really probably sh should pay better attention <laughs> to this. I'm not doing so well in the combat. Um, no, I'm not too doing too badly, I guess. There we go. Ooh, I thought I heard someone. Oh, no, maybe there's someone else. Maybe over here. Again, this is an easy adventure. Um, these guys aren't too hard. Uh, it hasn't been on one of the hard adventures yet, but you know, in the medium adventure, they are a bit harder. Um, not super hard, but as long as you're paying attention. Uh, but there's no health regen or anything like that. You can eat food to get a little bit of health back, um, but you also have to um, make campfires if you want to get all your health back. Um, don't worry about the rest of the stuff. Um, this looks, looks quite pretty. Oh, there's somebody upstairs. Oh, there's an archer. That's annoying. Sometimes there are bigger chests which have more interesting things in them. Um, you know, I heard of a rumor that you might be able to get one of the interesting chests. Here somewhere. Again, destructible environment. Oh, there we go. You can see in the middle, um, again, because this is an easy quest, this thing is up and up on the surface, easy to find. Um, the harder quest these things, well, this is the exit portal, it's sometimes harder to find that. Um, and there's, uh, I think that's a cave down there, that's definitely a cave down there actually. Um, there's a few um, wild animals ro roaming around the area, um, you have to fight sometimes, and again, uh, so I think it's a wolf or something down there. It gets a bit harder at night. Uh, there is a day-night cycle. Quite nice graphics, as you can see. lighting, which is uh, both good and bad. Obviously you can see I'm carrying a torch around in my offhand. Um, which is good. Um, but yeah, the lighting's a little messed up sometimes. There we go. There's a little secret area up here, and this is one of the bigger chests that I mentioned. Reasonably nice thing. Again, because this is an easy world, the, um, the re rewards you get from it are not that great either. Um, but uh, it's not bad. This is sort of my main complaint about the game at the moment. Um, it is quite dark. I'm not sure how well this will come out on YouTube as a result, but. Um, Oops. 
Sporen. Sort of could get used to good tactics for fighting things. Um, oh. um, just to show you how that works. Um, let's see my red health bar at the bottom there. If you eat food, it replenishes in a lighter colour. It's temporary health. Um, it uh, it's used up twice as fast as regular health, um, and you have to um, go and create a campfire use it to um, turn that into full health. Must be part of the same structure. Uh, so yeah there's a mining cave down there. Don't worry about that today. Uh, somebody somebody grumpy around here somewhere. Um, so yeah, this is the, um, the main structure. Oh, there he is, down there. Let's just ignore him. Um, I'm going to see if we can find the other landmark in this area. Again, you can see the adventuring worlds are also fairly small. Hello, wolf. Come on, wolf. Oh, that's a nice big mine cave there. Let's get around it though, and see if there's anything interesting off this way. <coughs> Side quest things are usually uh, towards the edges of the map, which is why I'm hanging towards the edge here. Um, Wolf cubs usually run away from you, although if they're backed into a corner they'll fight if they think you're distracted. You can of course harvest the trees here to get wood if you need some more to craft, but that's not really why I'm here at the moment. And, no, okay. Maybe there's only the two landmarks. Again, maybe that's because this is an easy world. You can see a full map of the area, um, so there's the, the place that we just went through. But it uh, doesn't look like there's much else of interest. Oh, and then of course this big thing in the centre here, so let's go see what this is about. Center, these bandits, uh, you'll find them a little bit in some Well, I thought they heard somewhere, but okay. Oh, there we go. They'll fight amongst themselves a little bit to some extent, uh, which is entertaining. Um, here we go, and again, ooh, tool dust. Again, the, the rewards are not that exciting. World like this, um, but yeah, if I really want to do it, I can go and take all this out and build my own things with it. Um, it's all fully destructible. Uh, this stuff is not destructible, of course, but um, most of the rest is. Let's go. But they sometimes run away when they get to low health as well, which is a nice touch. Uh, they don't actually be regen or anything, but. 
time, so try and find your friends. And there we go, I had a quest to defeat some bandits, and I just did. Oh, well. You just sneak up on me. Dropping some meat, which is good. Again, these uh, mushrooms are also edible. Um, there's a few other things you can pick up in the world. I'm not going to bother going mining on this adventure, but um, if you go mining you can get more of the keystone stuff and of course um, various different metals in various places um, to make you better equipment or to repair your equipment. But for now let's just go back. So going through the portal here, uh, you get back to uh, your home world. And oh, I'm not sure which one of these is better, let's go with that one. And you get this little adventure log saying all the things you did, and you can get more detail if you want. Um, looking through, find all the things that you picked up, and what sort of thing. Um, now you can see I obviously missed a chest somewhere, so I'm not sure where that was. Must have been something that I didn't see. But here we are back in the home world. And typically after an adventure, you'll go through and go to your chests and drop off anything that you picked up. You can see you've got a reasonable amount of stuff. Uh, I'll make you sit through the whole, the whole thing, but usually I drop off blocks in this chest and so on. A um, bunch of different blocks for different building different things and so on. Um, and this is probably not the, not the interesting part of the video. So I'll leave this here for now. Um, this is just a basic introduction to the current state. Um, this is Alpha 4.5. Um, and yeah, it's um, reasonable amount of fun so far. Um, as if that was just an easy adventure. I might show a harder adventure again some other time. Uh, particularly if people actually watch this video, which I don't think is too likely, but hey, you never know. Um, but yeah, so that's Sky Saga for now. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.